it's me again with another video again but this time I have a special version because I was doing a, a customized uh, sorry I was doing a generic version that would make a generic converter for several computers and you end up adding more code more switch uh, and things start slowing down and uh, causing jittering and the jittering is spread through all the FPGA code so it stops syncing so what I did I fixed some, some problematic areas and also I um, start doing a customized version so you remove everything else and leave separate builds so if you want to use with your Apple, you use one build. If you want to use with your Cocoa Tree, that's the best way. If you can see here, the Arkanoid, it has, uh, it's pretty, it's perfectly stable. Also, with my chains, I can show you. You can see how. Uh, stay boys with the extra thing removed but you can see in this demo uh, it's the minor adjust here We have all colors here for this demo. All you can see the bands they are wider than those who have several shades of every color. So it's virtually taking all Coco Tree colors. I'm able to digitize with uh, very good quality. You see they're not flickering or or jittering anymore they're pretty stable I think this demo show most of the color now I have a frizzed because I turn off the cocoa so you can see how many shades of even here you have several uh, Let's show the other case. They turn out boink. You can clearly see several colors, table. Even here, this was always flickering in other videos, and you can see they are they are completely still now can show well I used to get uh, textures it's my eternal test case trying to capture here Yeah, it looks uh, it's looks very good. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, you cannot have a, a general solution. It it does not perform well. I made I made the last generic version. It's not that bad, but once you see the customized version, you don't want to get get back to the generic version. Yeah. Also, let's play with the the artifacting mode. You can see by these lines they are still; they're not floating. And turn it on the artifacting. Uh, 
I'm benefiting to the I'm using the same system as I used to the Apple II so I have smoothed edges around here also working on the the sub pixel level here you get a interesting interesting image you see here there is one dark pixel but the most uh, interesting result I saw was with a tooth stomp and it's quite remarkable you can clearly see here that you see a blue, dark and orange so we have a very good it's a unique experience playing with this adapter uh, pretty much finished for the cocoa it's ready getting all colors and oh let's show again how it performs the eight columns looking at you you perceive a, a minor uh, fluctuation I don't know if you can capture but it's is it's normal and that's it uh, thanks for watching bye bye